So The Division 3 is in development and this hit the community like a bombshell with nobody seeing this coming or expecting it to be casually dropped in an article posted on Twitter or X or whatever it's called these days. Not a lot is known about the game yet other than it's going to be headed by Massive Entertainment which I personally think is pretty good news. Massive is where the Division franchise started and I feel like keeping it in their capable hands is a pretty smart move. We also know that sadly we'll probably be waiting for a long time to see The Division 3 out in the wild, with Julian Garrity, the newly appointed executive producer of The Division brand, still working on Star Wars Outlaws and wanting to see this project finished, so I imagine he doesn't have a huge amount of time to focus on a new game just yet. Still, I'm incredibly happy, like I'm sure most of you are, to hear we are getting a third game, and even though we don't know much about it yet, I do have some hopes of my own. First, I would love to see the snow return. I know it sounds silly, but when I first started playing The Division 1, the snowy streets of New York really felt like part of the franchise's identity. And even though I'm open to new cities and locations, I would love to see the franchise return to thick snow and blizzards. I've also heard a few people mention that they'd like to see The Division move away from being a multiplayer looter shooter and more towards a single player game with a stronger focus on story. Although I definitely think there is room for story driven spin offs, like I've always thought it would be an interesting single player game to follow the story of April Kelleher. But personally, I'd like to see The Division 3 move more into the other direction, leaning more into being an MMO light closer to what Destiny 2's become. I want to see busy social hubs again, something I remember fondly from the Division 1 subway station, players dancing around, chatting and just having a laugh. This is something that always felt lacking in the Division 2. I also think it'd be a cool idea to be able to switch your open world from public to private. This is a feature I noticed in the recent First Descendant beta. Before entering an open world area, there was a button on the map you could toggle to switch between the two. If you wanted to see other players in your world and get involved in their missions, you could set it to public. Or if you just wanted a chilled grind solo, just set it to private and you'll be left alone. This could make the open world feel more alive when playing publicly, plus it might also fill the void of the idea of a PvE dark zone that some players have asked for in The Division 2, with all of these areas being PvE. Talking about dark zones, I would love to see the franchise go back to having one big dark zone with a much larger player count. After the effect lowering the player count and breaking the DZ up had on the second game, I'd be surprised if this is something we didn't see in the third game. With the franchise getting a brand new executive producer, I feel the future is looking pretty bright for The Division. We have The Division 3, we have Heartland, Resurgence, a movie, and more books to come. So the universe is growing. The future does indeed look bright, but what would you like to see in The Division 3? What are your hopes? What are your dreams? What don't you want to see in the game? Let's talk about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for future uploads. Have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next one.